Bucket, bucket, bucket! I know! these cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Bot, go get the car! Stop the beams! Stand still and die. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Reese, just tell it to run.
I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Well, you know, pr probably not. But. I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys... A lot of those guys... Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? You cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little... awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably gonna need some therapy in the future, you know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. And get the hell out of here. Does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. be confused with his brother Boom was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane. He will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? This feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Are you two not just the 
handsomest devils I've seen in- Don't do ah! that! Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to scare you guys! <laughs> it, it just- it just happened, you know? Things happen, they happen! What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I- Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. Listen, we're gonna make a deal, all right? We're buying a thing, something valuable. You know anything about that? I know a lot of things about a lot of things, and this thing in particular. <laughs> You're Hyperion. Right? Here for August. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, this is certainly the place to do it. Freaking scare me, I'll slap the crap out of you. What the hell is wrong with you? My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting ten million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. It ain't a friggin' bug stampede. Some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> He was just the go-between, the middleman. The puppet, the pigeon. Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down, and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so... The way I, uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done! We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key. From me. What the hell are you? I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that. 
and especially Hyperion ore monkeys, who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we are not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird... Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem. Let's just... No, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department. Do something! Can't let you leave with that, pal. Oh, no? And what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought- <laughs> Looks like he had a change of heart. What a steaming load of skag crap. <laughs> well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! It sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Oh, okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is. Oh, this ought to be good. Yeah, go on. The vault key shattered. Mind! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that? The most important thing. Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, Oops. come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. 
It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. That looks good. If Augustus' offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. That looks great, Felix. It's the best I can do in the time given. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I'll back you up if needed. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. Yeah, you get it all out. I guess. Figures. A hollow point where art and culture flourish. All right, all right, enough of the stabbing. Piss off. Sorry, girls gotta eat. didn't mention anything about a bouncer. 
Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for Wait, me... Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. That's a short list. I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. <laughs> can't believe that worked. I can't either. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends, you're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me and we met at Pyro Pete's just after Mercenary's Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. Yes, yeah, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a relief. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family over a long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Now you say hi to the missus for me, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home, alright? Thanks again. 